I will not be using the men's bathroom. I won't. Just lovely. I had a neighbor confront me for using the woman's restroom. These people are so delusional, it's not even funny anymore. I'm finally going to talk about the bathroom debate. I think it's very simple, yet we have made it so complicated over the years. You should use the bathroom based on the gender you look like. Trans people have always existed and needed to use a public restroom. So why is it that we only started to debate this five years ago, six years ago? Why is it a political topic? Well, I can tell you who it's not about. Real transsexuals. It's always the fake ones. The TikToks I have for you today proves my point. Okay, hear me out. And I thought this was obvious, but banning trans women from female bathrooms won't stop predators. If a man wants to go into a women's bathroom, no one's going to stop him. Like, there's not security. Like, he, he could literally walk in. Like, the, no one would stop him. And he could do what he wants. So, just... Just let trans women piss and shit, please. It's not about banning trans people. It's about banning self-ID laws. In certain situations, you can't say that your gender is based on what you say it is. Oh, I identify as a woman, I need to serve my time in the women's prison. Or, oh, I identify as a woman, so I need to compete in this sport against biological women. I know that evil people exist. There are people who want to do harm. But let's not help them out. Let's not help them by saying, you can use the bathroom of what gender you identify as. I've heard that argument a lot that, oh, well, predators will always exist, but it's like, so we can't do anything to prevent it? And it's the same argument they use when I try to make conservatives more open-minded when it comes to transsexualism. They're like, transphobes will always exist, so we're not gonna do anything about it? I will not be using the men's bathroom. I won't. I won't. And here's why. There's a bigger threat to me coming out of the men's bathroom for people waiting for me, people waiting for me outside of the stall, people harming me in the men's bathroom versus using the women's bathroom. I'm not using a bathroom other than number one or number two, so get that through your head. My best advice is to my girls that are trying to use the women's bathroom or feel uncomfortable using the women's bathroom or the men's bathroom, don't go alone. Don't go to the bathroom alone. Go with somebody. Go with a pair. Go with your friend. Go, go with somebody that you came to the bar with. Don't go alone. We gotta travel in packs, girl. Don't go alone. This yellow on me looks so f***ing good. Oh. <laughs> I thought that bathrooms were safe. I thought it was a myth, or rather a conspiracy theory, that assaults happen in bathrooms. Activists claim that bathrooms are safe and assaults never happen. It's a conspiracy theory. However, they still at the same time wouldn't feel comfortable using the men's bathroom for the same reason. Make it make sense. Girl, I remember one time I was using the bathroom. I got out of the bathroom and washing my hands. This lady walks in and she looks at me and she's like, Is this the men's bathroom or is this the women's bathroom? Bitch, is this anatomy class or are you trying to share this? If it was anatomy class, you would definitely fail. A little side note, why is it culturally acceptable for a man to call a woman a bitch? Just because he's gay? Does that change anything? I'm saying this because he's a man in a female space mocking the women who feel uncomfortable or are confused because of his presence. I cannot believe that we live in a world where narcissistic people are allowed to make other people uncomfortable. As long as they feel good, they feel comfortable, they feel safe and validated, it doesn't matter that other people are uncomfortable and feel unsafe I would go as far to say they might enjoy making other people uncomfortable, and that's creepy. Isn't it weird that trans activism is now about protecting men over women and making men feel comfortable rather than women? All we can do about women is calling them a slur, a turf, whenever they want to protect their own rights. But trans activists are the progressive and tolerant ones. Okay, let's get one thing perfectly clear. If you're a Pakistani woman, you have a beard. I don't know one Pakistani woman that doesn't have a beard, okay? I don't know who I'm exposing by making this video, but your Pakistani aunties have a full beard, full mustache. These people are so delusional, it's not even funny anymore. Just lovely. I had a neighbor confront me for using the woman's restroom. 
I lived here for four and a half years. Everyone should know that I'm a trans woman. I've always been known as Kaylee. I've always used she, her pronouns. That doesn't make you a woman. Or a trans woman. Why do I, why do I keep hearing this argument? I'm a boy because I use he, him pronouns. That's not proof of anything. <laughs> It's actually proof that you're not a boy since you have to tell people what your pronouns are. Oops. I've been having some stomach issues because of Trulicity and I had to use the bathroom real quick and they're single use bathrooms and it's the only place that I feel safe using the woman's bathroom. Here again we have, as long as I feel safe, people should shut the f up. As long as I'm comfortable, it doesn't matter if you aren't. Well, I got done and got out and this neighbor was talking to another neighbor and started pointing out the sign. I knew exactly what she was talking about because there's a big old woman sign. And I'm like, is there a problem? She's like, yeah, you're using the woman's restroom. You're a man. And I said, I'm a trans woman. She's like, no, you're a man. And she kept saying that over and over. And then I, and she kept saying, you're not a she, you're a he. You shouldn't be using it. You, sh you were born a man. And just over and over. And honestly, I just lost it. It just lost it and just started screaming and swearing. I, I just couldn't handle it. I just, my, this is my home. This is my safe place. I should be able to use the restroom. The, the apartment manager knows I'm trans. Everyone knows my name is Kaylee. And then my group of friends, I thought my friends were all starting to yell at me saying I escalated and because she had two kids. I, I didn't even see the kids. They were there and I just lost it. Fight, flight, or freeze and I fought. Oh my god, what's the matter with this person? This man, I'm not making him gender neutral, don't worry. You yell in front of kids because you're a grown, very grown man using the woman's bathroom? You lost it? No shit. This is obviously a mentally unstable person, but dude, literally. You don't know what it's like to be a trans person. And then, and then my one friend started yelling at me and neither one, none of them stood up for them. I, they blamed me that I was the one that was at fault. You don't know either what it's like to be trans. You're not. When, when none, none of them stood up to me when, when, when this person kept calling me he, she, he, man, like triggering and awful. Like I deal with enough on here. Like my apartment should be a safe place. There's nothing safe for a trans person. There is nothing safe for a trans person. This is the life and it fucking sucks. And even when you have your friends don't have your back. And then my one friend Annette just starts screaming at me and I'm like, fart start screaming back at her. I'm done. These are fair weather friends. These are not the friends that I need, want, and deserve. And if I can't find it here, I will find it elsewhere. You know what? I actually, I have nothing to say. <laughs> I just need to stop the video for a second because this is a lot. Leave a comment down below what you think of this. So, I, I, I don't know. I'm so fucking triggered and feeling so uh, awful. Like, I just want to die. This fucking sucks. He's an extreme example of this whole debate, but... They exist. I'm just happy that there are still people out there who are sane and who will stand up for women and children and not bow down to this disgusting ideology. For years, I used the women's bathroom even though I identified as Marcus as a man because I did not pass for years. I did not look or sound like a man, so I did not use the men's bathroom. Real transsexuals always use common sense, but of course trans activists, they don't want to use common sense. They want to be provocative. They want to break down norms and make other people uncomfortable. They thrive on that. Real transsexuals want to live their lives as if they were normal men and women. That's it. They don't want any attention, especially any negative attention. So that's why we're so different. The other aspect of non-passing trans people and bathrooms is why would you want to use the opposite sex bathroom if you don't pass as such? I never used the men's bathroom back when I didn't pass because that would make me uncomfortable as well. Not because I felt unsafe or anything, but uncomfortable about looking like a woman and using the men's bathroom. So my point is, what made me the most comfortable, what made other people the most comfortable, was for me to use the bathroom based on the gender I looked like. It's almost like that real trans people, they don't see this as an issue. They know what to do and they've always known. And it seems like it's only the fake transsexuals, the disgusting trans activists, who want to politicize this. It's going to make the trans acceptance 
worse. We see it already. And I hate it. I hate it. Thank you all for watching. Remember to like this video if you want to see more content like this. Leave a comment down below. I always want to know what you think. Remember to hit subscribe and the notification bell. If you want to support me with a small donation, feel free to do it under super thanks. I'd be really grateful. And I'll see you all in my next video. Peace out.